Now as a professor, I've been experimenting with a bunch of AI learning tools and in this video, I want to share with you the best that I've found that speed up and make learning easier for me and my students. So let's jump in with the first and that's Assembly AI Playground. Now I've been using this a lot recently and it converts spoken words into text through simply dropping in audio or video files such as a lecture or perhaps your own voice recording and it will also text convert YouTube video. But what I love is that it goes beyond just transcribing by doing stuff like summaries of the source file, labelling topics, creating chapters and detecting important phrases. Now I learn something better when I'm actually presenting it and making a story out of it and Tome AI is pitched as a storytelling partner, just simply inputting your topics or ideas that you want and then the AI is going to create a set of slides with images that explains your topic which is obviously just going to save you time. Images are generated using DALI, the AI based image generator developed by OpenAI. Sometimes the images just aren't always spot on but you can go in and reprompt to generate the image that you actually want. Now the next app I want to show you is called Explain Paper. Have you ever read something and then thought I just didn't understand any of that but it happens when we're reading these PDFs because very often it's just full of so much technical jargon. Well this AI tool Explain Paper can help make articles easier to read as it explains confusing text to you. The website is free to use and you just need to sign up and once in there you can upload an article and highlight the confusing text which you need help understanding. As well as explaining concepts in simple terms it can help explain explain and understand some of the data and results that you might see in research papers and that's obviously a great feature. Now while working on a research project this year I tried out various AI note taking tools and I've narrowed it down to my favourite three just for you. First up is MemX which claims to remove the need for you to actually manage and organise the notes as it becomes self organising. Within the timeline you can scroll down and find the notes you created in this order. It's got some really good features and I like it when you write something that MemX will analyse it and suggest links to other notes that you've already made. This is obviously going to be really helpful if you're studying a subject perhaps and it can keep drawing links to previous notes that you've made. The second one I tried for you is Reflect which is billed as a beautiful minimalist note taking app and I did like the sleek design. This is because notes are instantly synced across your devices and it also has built in prompts such as summary, rephrasing, key takeaways. A feature that I really enjoyed using was the map view which gave an overview of all the notes that you've got. This has also got a small fee of $10 a month which might put you off. Finally I want to show you Notion AI which is perhaps the most well-known note-taking app that we use and like other note-taking apps it's got various ways to augment your thinking which is ultimately going to help you save time and spend it more wisely doing other things. I suggest you just go and have a play around with these different note-taking apps, find the one that suits you, if you get it right it can really make a difference to your learning. Now as we've come to know learning it's so often about reading and many of us struggle with text-based knowledge but AI speech tools can really help us. First up speech Speechify is great if you struggle with written text as it converts text into spoken words and therefore allowing you to listen to articles, textbooks and notes. It can potentially save you a lot of time because you can be taking in the information while you're learning and on the go doing other things and being busy. Students on my university module seem to really like it. Secondly, I also want to tell you about Otter AI and this is the opposite and does speech to text. And this potentially saves us making notes. You know, learning often occurs when we're just listening to the information in meetings and calls and Otter AI helpfully records and write automatic notes. But brilliantly it does more than just mere transcription and it creates summaries and allows collaboration with other comments and also has a search function for important notes. Now if you're serious about learning anything at some stage it's going to mean doing research into a topic. So I've been trialing two AI assistants with different features to meet your needs. First up we've got Scholarcy which I discovered a few months ago and it really helps providing a summary of articles but I think its unique selling point is its simplification and it's able to create excellent flashcards to help you learn. Now if you're really serious about researching you can pay a subscription fee which will help you build a personalised summarised research library and then it can do things for you like creating a background reading list and Scholarcy has a unique robo highlighter which automatically highlights important phrases and contributions which have been made by the paper and it can potentially do away with trawling the web trying to find those papers in different references because Scholarcy can do that for you and locate open access PDF articles. Next up we've got Humata which is an AI powered tool just like ChatGPT for your files and what Humata attempts to do is to analyse the complex into simply explained summaries. Something additional that I found really useful is that it engages in question and answers about the academic paper and it attempts to give you easy to understand answers in an instant. And I want to tell you about the latest ChatGPT plugins that can revolutionise your learning. So I've gone away and I've found the best and I've put them together in a video here to help you learn anything 10 times faster. 